I'm Josh. This is Robin. We're from a band called Elenkus. Uh, the song is called Devourer. Um, it's quite an intense song and it is one of the tracks on our new album. When people ask me what um, what kind of music we play, I just say we're a rock band. It's easier. <laughs> yeah, we're heavy, heavy. heavy we're, we're a really heavy band. And they're like, oh, like Metallica. And you're like, uh, no. It's a difficult one because we actually change the genre and style throughout the music. So I guess it's post something, <laughs> you know? On the internet, you need to like clar classify what, what you're doing for people to be able to find it a lot of the time. So we kind of go for words like post metal, post-hardcore, metal, things around that. I mean, it doesn't like give you the, the full description, which, but it never will. So, you know, it's just really for things like that for, to help people find the band. What got me into music was probably uh, Michael Jackson, believe it or not. But I think a lot of people our age probably have Michael Jackson as a big influence. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that and I don't know, like stuff that my parents listen to, Crowded House and Bob Marley and stuff like that, you know. My parents got a baron and there was a tape with the baron that was like learn how to play the baron and it had this rhythm that was just like watermelon, watermelon. And through that tape, I learned how to play the baron. And that's what got me into music. First record I bought, embarrassingly, was Pure Dance 96. <laughs> but like shortly followed by The Fat of the Land by The Prodigy. And that was like a really defining record for me. And you know, I was uh, only really young when I got it, but uh, it shaped a lot of, of music for me. Gore is notorious or has been famous for its hardcore and punk scene over the last years. It still exists, like lots of bands have Unfortunately, I've, uh, I've split up in the last few years, so there's not more coming along. Though, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So there's lots of like new bands coming up, and uh, we're, I guess we're kind of like turning into the old guys now. <laughs> Galway would definitely have what you might describe as more alternative heavy music. Like you know, there's a festival in Limerick called the Siege of Limerick, a metal festival, and you know the bands come from Dublin. There's bands from Limerick there, bands from Galway, but you can always see the bands from Galway because they're not. They don't have like long black hair, they don't have black t-shirts, they're just, it's just a different kind of scene. It is definitely the case that in Germany, the UK, and the States, there's um, definitely more facility for what we do. Absolutely. On the way up today, we were talking about like uh, shows in the States like Letterman and Conan and stuff like that and how they would have bands like uh, you know, like Mastodon or Dinger Escape Plan or Red Fang or someone like that, you know, like would come on and play on a, on a Friday night, you know, on a mainstream talk show, you know, and like big festivals as well would have uh, space for, for heavier bands in Ireland. The heavy music doesn't really have a place um, kind of in the, in the mainstream side of things, whereas like in, in other countries it would. It definitely is the case that there should be a stage dedicated to more alternative and heavy music at a lot of these festivals that are on in Ireland and there's just nothing for that because if the stage was there people are gonna go. Yeah I mean like personally I would be turned off going to one of those festivals because I'd be like okay well you know there's some cool like hip-hop or pop or whatever stuff that I want to see but like there's no heavy bands. I love heavy bands and there's none, you know? So I'd be like, oh, well, I'm going to go to Spain and go to Primavera or something like that, where I can see some of the bands that I really, really like. In, in one sense, I can understand why there wouldn't be heavy bands um, included in some festivals and things like that, because like, you think about the bands that we've played with over the years, and we've played with some really awesome bands, but we've also come across like hundreds of like throwback bands, you know, who are like just playing 80s thrash or like, you know, just some genre that is like from the past that really doesn't have any place here now, you know, I mean, it's not current, like, you know, and so if that's the perception, if that's the public perception of what heavy or metal music is, is then, then that kind of gives it, the whole thing a bit of a bad name, really, which is a shame. We don't all have beards. <laughs> I have a mustache. <laughs> wow!